Hello, mm -hmm. and welcome back to another Minecraft Let's Play video by me, Foxy Dotail, here on the Truly Bedrock Survival Server with Mr. Slack Lizard, and he's about to do a live stream where I am going to see how long it takes to burn alive being... Oh, no, I'm not. I'm not going to do that at all. Ah, hot, hot, Well, there's hoppers hot, there. Hot. There's hoppers. <laughs> it, it, it would put out the fire. It would catch your stuff. Mm. Maybe. Mm. Some of it. Yeah, I've got many, many things in my inventory. We're going to be working on the Guardian Farm during the live stream, and hopefully... By the end of that live stream, you'll all be able to see what we got up to. Hooray! Maybe, maybe a working storage system for this thing finally, right? What do we, what's wrong with this one? It's perfect. This this is not perfect. I'm just saying. Ah! 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 Jeez! Ah! ah, ah Foxy! Ah, ah, you're burning me! I can't! Why are you burning me? I'm gonna, I'm what, are you <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? To leave the disintegrated slap! Run away! <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a great way to start things off, Foxy Dutch. Mm. Well, well. I made a boo boo slack. Mm. <laughs> ah, ah. Mm. Mm. <sighs> I'll, I'll see you after the stream. Oh, jeez. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good, good talk, everybody. Good talk, Mister Lizard. Mm hmm. That that that's my name. It is indeed. Uh, we we did many works. Well, I say we. Between us, many works were done during your live stream. Mm-hmm. That yes. it, we we now have we now have slime pushy item storage. Yes. <laughs> we do. Which is it's working really, really, really well. Yeah, it's already starting to backlog some of these chests. Yeah, we did that stream yesterday for a couple of hours and while we were doing that, you know, Foxy went with his crazy ideal of having them splat down, die on trapdoors, it letting the items fall down, get pushed by slime, get pushed by more, and into multiple hoppers here, which is which is good. Which is good. It allows for us to have multiple areas of storage. And then you want you want to explain the rest of it. Well, be before I do, I just want to just point out the reason they're falling on a trapdoor is because mm -hmm. the trapdoor has two states, open and closed, but all right. of the states mean that the guardians will fall on it and die instantly. If you have them fall in on a solid block that's then being retracted by a piston, if that piston is in either retracting or pushing forward whilst the guardian falls on it, it won't register any fall damage and the guardians will survive. So this way guarantees that they'll die. And look at the speed of these things falling down here, Slack. It's ridiculous. It's, it, it, it's insane. This farm is definitely insane. And the reason we need and a storage system like this is basically because there's too many items coming down to be handled by either one or a bunch of hoppers or hopper minecarts because they then get limited by the hoppers they're pushing into. So this allows it to be dealt with by many, many, many hoppers all at once, which then feeds down into many, many more hoppers underneath and pushes it into these chests, which then filter down into this chest, which then go through an item filter to get rid of the fish. And oh, now I'm stuck in a hole. Mm, I'm stuck, yeah, I'm stuck it's, in a hole. It's okay. It's okay. I'm not stuck in a hole. I, I'm but, down here but, at the bottom at this moment. Yeah. And this is the end result here. <laughs> we haven't even got to shards yet. It's still doing nothing but crystals. Yeah. <laughs> or crystal or shards. Yeah, the other way around as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. backwards. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. So, I mean, it's probably not the best sorting system in the world. What would be really good is perhaps if we made the sorting system that it would suck out from these chests more often. Because you can see what the problem is here. This chest is only picking up shards because it's pulling from those two things. And there's always generally a shard in the first slot of that hopper because of the way it's going in. But eventually, mm -hmm. this fish and crystals will get through. Yeah. Well, right. a couple things that we still need to do, though. Yes. Slack and I then discussed all of the things we needed to do to the room as well as the new room downstairs. Yeah, and decorating down here, we should probably do at some point, but right now, I don't think that should be highest on our priority list is decorating down there, because that nether rack is gross. Or nether, nether brick, sorry. Yeah, it's hideous down there, and I just don't want to know. Yeah, we'll worry no. about that another time. So sort out the top room, ignore the room above. Gotcha. Okay, let's do this. Um, You're getting carried away. Yeah, I'm just I know. Um, it's a waste of time. I've also made it impossible to get into the storage thing and see if it's actually working, which is probably not the best idea to have done. Maybe I should replace these stairs with glass so at least we can see what's going on. Um, and I have got carried away. Um, I don't like the nether rack, but we're, this is probably somewhere that we're hardly going to use. It's certainly hardly ever going to be on camera, so I think we're wasting time. <laughs> so you up here, you've been... Um, 
taking out all of the basalt that was on the floor because basically we have problems with magma cubes spawning, don't we? Yes. So we, yes, lots. We're making it all half slab level rather than slab level. There are still some slab level. Oh, sorry, not slab level. Block level bits like round here and stuff like that. But now it's greatly reduced and a lot more blackstone, and it still looks half decent. This room, it doesn't look bad at all. Still, nope. it's not the room yeah, it, it looks was. Good. It, it doesn't really serve a purpose at this point, but it looks good. Yeah, it's completely pointless. And we probably ought to fix this floor down here as well. Well, slack. I don't think. Yeah. We, yeah. Mm -hmm. Other than that, I don't think we should waste any more time in here at all. I think we should get on with the next next project, don't you? Okay. And our next project of today is that where we're about to go over there. What, what, what are you doing? Why am I getting inventory full of stuff? Oh, you're you're ripping out more stuff. <laughs> yeah, I don't like this bit here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, next project Foxy, is did what? You, you um, did you realize um, the staircase is like... Hmm. What? Hmm. Off-center? You can deal with that? Yep. So, next, I guess we're removing these portals yeah. and killing all this stuff in the nether with trident killers. Yes. Now, I've been towed. I've, I've been towed. That if we actually put armor stands on these spawn blocks, I tried it and then push, nah, it did work. When did you try it? Uh, it's been a while, but it did at that point. I, hmm. I, when I did my tutorial on this, I tried everything, and I, I, there wasn't a single thing you can put on there, and it will stop them spawning. Now everyone else is convinced in the comments it works. I tried it first hand. Maybe I did it wrong, but you know, <laughs> I spent ages. Ma manipulating armor stands to get them on those blocks, half on those blocks, a bit on those blocks, fully on those blocks. Hmm. Don't work. I wish I hadn't have said that. So let's get all these knocked out of here. Yet again, Always you've got me something. smashing obsidian. As usual. Yeah. Uh, no, don't try to put this all on me. You place the portals. I'm just saying. Does it? Mm -hmm. Does it? Does it feel unusually dark to you on the screen at the minute? For me, it just seems it feels yes. really dark. Yes, it feels really, really super. Super dark. So bizarre how that helps. <laughs> <laughs> Might be the fact that there's no lights around here. Yeah, that would be. Mm. Mm. We're going to need to redo the rails, aren't we? Because realistically, we're now going to need the mobs. <gasps> oh, my goodness. <laughs> I don't know why, when you <laughs> fell, I hit shift. <laughs> <laughs> I immediately hit shift, Where which would have been like the worst from? thing. <sighs> After falling down holes many times, I decided it was a good idea to put in a safety floor below. You just went with the floor that was already existing, right? Look, I it's okay. I started placing, and it you didn't stop me quick enough. Jeez. I so what, le you what level should we do it at then, sir, Mister Genius? Um, quit being sassy with me. Slack. But I didn't do it, why? Uh, I, these aren't mini blocks, but I have a bit of a problem. <laughs> <laughs> um, well. I, I made a bit of a boo boo with my. I <laughs> took a slight error in my flying. Uh, yeah. mm. 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 Is, is this enough light for you now down here? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I don't know. I can't see anything, Slack. I'm blind. <laughs> he, he All I can see is this bright white light. <laughs> Taking a slight detour from the server and convinced Slack couldn't prove me wrong, we went to test our theory about armor stands in a creative world. And we have determined mm. that I'm an idiot. And in fact, putting <laughs> armor stands on the blocks does indeed prevent magma blocks and pigmen Pigments. from spawning. Mm. So it only actually gives us blazes Blaze and skeletons. Winners. Great. <laughs> Great. No. Okay. I don't love Minecraft anymore anyway. I'll quit. <laughs> Back on the Truly Bedrock server, I'm here with Mr. Lizard, who is teaching me how to do a proper job of the thing that I said was impossible that is apparently not. Hopefully no one will bully me too much in the comments for having gotten it wrong for so long, even though you all told me many, many times in the comments. Oh, yeah. That it, it, yeah, they're not going to let that go. You know that, right? I'm sorry. Yeah, that, that's, sorry, that's guys. Totally not going to be. Exactly. I didn't mean to, mate. Mm -hmm. I'm really they're, sorry. They're, they're going to sell. Mm -hmm. 
got a kebab yet. You might, oh. as well, yeah, you might as well expect many comments about this. All right, now you finish fanning about with that. Get your bum over here, and let's let's see if this works then. It looks like there's nothing but blazes and uh, withers and skeletons over there right now. A fluke. Total fluke. A fluke. Yep. Just an accident. Yep. Mm. Yep. Mm. Just conveniently. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Okay, you win. Right now, genius. Figure out this try killer disaster that we've got on our hands next with the rail system. I wonder if less would be more. What do you mean? What having less spawning spots? Get rid of half yeah, of the Yeah, you spot. seen how you seen how quick that filled up with that density did right fill there. Up really quick, yeah. Mm. That filled up with density like instantly. Like it didn't Bang. play around. Like a bomb went off and then poof, all of a sudden there was loads of mobs there. Mm-hmm. Are you thinking what I'm mm. thinking? I don't know what you're thinking. But uh, I was hoping you would tell me what you were thinking and I could say, oh yeah, I'm thinking the same thing and it makes me look clever then. That, that, mm, mm. 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 I'm interested to know how we've got bones on these sea lanterns though. Uh, I, I chucked them down there just a minute ago. Okay, that's good. Oh, not again! How? Clack! <laughs> Help! <laughs> After escaping from prison, I asked a question which seemed to tickle Slack in all the right places. Would you like to be a guinea pig? <laughs> I don't get it. Basically, if we've got th uh, three, it's possible. <gasps> I was gonna say, ah! <laughs> <laughs> right, this one's gonna get thrown in, okay? That's nice and easy. Or oh, it might not, it might get thrown onto this block. They get thrown on a diagonal. Does this one need to be there or there? Does this one, is it gonna throw it over the side that way or is it gonna throw it into there? Because if it throws it that way, then it's gotta go on this side, right? Right, you went down the hole, that's good. This Just one take this off to take, here. Take this off. Yeah. Then, yeah, but connect mm -hmm. this up to that. So I, I know. I, I know. I've played like Minecraft before, Slack. I'm not completely useless. Oh, I'm a bit useless, I guess. Just not, not completely. The mask is dead. Go. Did you fall in? Because you went all over the place on my screen. Yeah, I fell in. Okay. Whoa, that worked. Why? So that's those, that's two of them easily solved then. So, but what we'll do instead of having that coming around there like that is we'll have it coming around the other way. Ah, wrong way! And <laughs> <laughs> oh, they didn't hurt me. I can't go back though because I'm bouncing off a wither. <laughs> Stupid game. No. Um, I think you fell the wrong way. Maybe it's directional then, which why the the cart's actually travelling. That's interesting. I thought it was based on the orientation of the the rail. Hmm. Hmm. Inter oh, not again! How? <laughs> My uh, today slack. After many deliberatings and working things out, we finally came up with a solid plan. If we if we just completely forget about this middle row here. And just muck about with those ones and those two. I think that's plenty. Oh, goodness. Okay, so if we, if, if we try to. Sorry, <laughs> right, so we won't be able to disable that one via light. We'd have to actually kill that spawn spot completely. Yeah, just just get rid of the iron block. Fine. After a substantial amount of time later and many more falling down holes and doing stupid things, we had finally almost got to a point we thought was good enough. Well, Slack, I have to mm -hmm. say, it's looking good so far. We have two Trident Killers in place. I call mm -hmm. it a dual Trident system, but other people have called it other things before. Well, that's the name I've coined for it. I think it'll stick. Um, and you're throwing a Trident in that one. I threw one in the other one. Now, what are you doing about the uh, the mass XP build-up? What's, uh, what's your plans for that? Not worried about it. Oh, okay. So now that both of those are running, should we give it... I know we haven't got a collection system in, but should we give it a quick test? Uh, we have a problem. Yeah, the lanterns. Ooh, yeah, that's... that's hmm. Blazes, they like when fly. they get hit by trident killers, fly up. 
What if, instead of using Trident Killer, oh look, there's another oh, giant Wavy Cube spawning the oh, which is open to the armor stands. I, I told you we have to take care of the top of the spawn cages still. Oh, and we haven't you, took the you, lights you, off you, that other system no. either. No, we, we're, see, look, that guy just spawned on top of a light, see? Do I mm -hmm. have to put zombie pigment person on it? Mm -hmm. It's impossible, Slack. Mm -hmm. No, it's not. It's, it's, you just mm. seen it. We just seen it. So we got a blaze problem. Some head scratching and many more times later, we had a solution. Oh. OK, Mr. Lizard, we have put glass boxes around these things. We have put yeah, slabs and glasses them. above those. And we think we're only going to get blazes and no wither skeletons now because of oh, geez. Um, that was weird. OK. Yeah. Blazes right. and skeletons. Yes, no wither skeletons. So, no. wither skeletons won't spawn with their head in glass. So, we found that out. That's yeah. good to know. But it doesn't look like we're getting any magmas or piglin people. Yeah. But this is not going to give us any so, wither skulls. No, or, or color. Many more fiddlings later. Removing the slabs, Slack, has created wither skeletons being spawned. This is good news. Oh, but, but the glass now doesn't let them fall out. But the glass now doesn't let them fall out. <laughs> so we rearranged the glass. Are we? Yeah. Ooh, there we go. Got a bunch of wither skeletons there. We're not getting. The spawn rates just seem so slow now. We need to do something about those blazes. How quickly they need. They die. After many testing, we realized that the trident killer we were using was not particularly effective on blazes. So I built one of my very, very tiny trident killers that was perfect. Slack. Yeah, I, yeah. I've built a monster, <laughs> mm -hmm. the world's largest trident killer in the oh, world. <laughs> and uh, where did the piglins come from? Yeah, uh, there's it, an armor stand missing or two, I think, over there. Oh, okay. Well, it's working. The mm -hmm. trident killer is working. Blazes are dying when they end up in it, but it is a bit of a mammoth. It's a big one. <laughs> it's a double barreler. We now have two monstrous Titan mm -hmm. killers absolute titans. monsters mm -hmm. we say titans mm -hmm. titan trident killers mm -hmm. triditans titans this is gonna work I didn't did you trident. throw the trident did, no, you didn't I didn't throw a trident no. I didn't put a trident it's like okay. I've got two tridents mm. here actually mm. you make a hole for me I'll throw it in Oh, I was I was turning off the minecarts, so quit dumping stuff on your face. I missed. It's in the redstone block on the side. I'll try again, Slack. Okay. Did you, have you made a hole in it for me yet? No, I, I was... Uh, mm. no. 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 I'll try and do it with Cheetah Zoom Clear. Ah, we were enabled. Well, that's good news. Excellent. <laughs> so we now got two working trident killers. Mm -hmm. How many play with the skulls have we had in all this time? Probably none. Yeah, none. Yeah, none. All magma skulls yeah. or or piglin skulls. Yeah. Well, um, I've been holding nothing with looting, by the way. Just saying. Yeah. Okay. Well, maybe we should do a test. Maybe we should grab some looting swords. Maybe throw the dragon killers again and do a test. All right, I'm emptying out the chest, Slack, so it's a fair test. You've put new tridents in, right? Have you got a looting sword? Mm-hmm. Excellent. Yep, so we're just about ready to roll then. After a successful 10 minute test, let's go okay. and see what happened. 10 minutes it's been. And it's not been minutes, much right. slower than normal. Ooh. No, I don't think so. I'm coming over now. Ooh. I had to go shut off the things. Ooh. That's that, that's not bad. We've that's got 10, no. 10 skeleton skulls in 10 minutes. A skull, a skull a minute. Yep. That's not bad. Over two stacks of coal. Did you take all that stuff out beforehand? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's all fresh. Yeah, yeah I'm going to grab all this and pull this over to that side. Okay. So we can see. So in 10 minutes, two and a bit stacks of blaze rods, four and a bit stacks of bones, nearly three stacks of coal, a half a stack of arrows, and 10 wither skeleton think, skulls. I don't think that's much off what we were getting when we were pumping it to the overworld, to be fair. No, I don't. I don't think it is. I think that's absolutely perfectly acceptable for a single-player AFK, like you were saying. No danger of it backing up because one of the characters gets logged out. No issues yep. with portal linking and the guardian farm or any of that stuff. And technically yep. less laggy because we're only loading up half the chunks. 
We got to move the AFK spot down to about right here too. Yeah, we do need to move that down because the blazes otherwise, yeah, they fly up to try and match your eye line, yeah. the person that threw the tridents. But yes. yeah, that, that's brilliant. Success! Finally! Back at the ideas board slack the um mm -hmm. we, we we're doing good we're doing good we've we've now done a nice shop which i actually yep. i think we can definitely tick that off we haven't yeah, done a raid yeah, stop a stop a raid shop or a trading hall or a nether tunnel yet or the no. amazing furnace we haven't no. decorated the ice farm no. and the wither farm and guardian farm are both <laughs> still technically work in progress but i mean we, they're we more got operational big... than they were Yes, big chunk of those is ticked off. I mean, we put a temporary tick next to those, but I do want to make both of those a bit better. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I feel like we're getting through things. Slowly but surely, slowly but surely. Have you More got a preference do. on the next task that we do together? I want to do that furnace. Yeah, I really want to do that furnace. Should we see what Robot wants us to do, or should we wait for the next one? Let's, let's, mm, mm, we can see what he has to say, but that doesn't mean we'll listen to him. One, yeah. okay. two three and robot says another tunnel hmm yeah let's ignore robot yeah. and do furnace yeah, next time yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yep mm, no bad robot bad bad robot <laughs> <laughs> well no, no, no I don't know whether that's the end of the episode but it's certainly the end of our today's collaboration because I've got many mm -hmm. things to do so thank you very much Mr Lizard for your time again today and I'll thank see you, you mm -hmm. very soon alright bye bye, yeah, bye, -bye. Bye. Bye. And thanks for all these new mini blocks, mate. I really like them and all that. It is the end of the episode, yeah. See you later. Thanks. Bye.